Okay. Network, network, network. Network Wahalla. Hello, good evening. Of course, good evening. Thank you, Linda, for coming back. I know me Slim. Thank you for coming back. Uh, my pastor, Fosai Dele, thank you. Good evening, Tracy Love. Thanks for coming back. This network, now wow. <laughs> there is someone on here. Thank you, thank you. You know me, thank you. Uh, David Gross, thank you for coming back. Uh, lovely Eddie Owens, thank you for coming back. Oscar Inyayo, thanks for coming for joining us. Yes, thanks for coming back. Hey, good evening, Gladys Neckman Zikia. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming back, Frida Obama. Thank you for coming back. Uh, please just begin to share right now. I invite them. Abi Mavi Smallsway Network needs to receive sense, big sense. They need to receive sense. So, cash code. I'm a flog C. Amego. Amenogo. Thank you, thank you. Please just begin to share so that they know we are back. Uh, we were interrupted, network, I waited for it to come back, it didn't come, so it just went off by itself. So I had to start uh, afresh. Maybe let us just give us the concluding part of it. Then some other time we, we conclude the whole thing. So please, just keep on sharing, go, go keep on sharing. Uh, while you are sharing and inviting people, let me give you a little... A do fuck song. I'm a do evil man. I'll be the level. I'm a do evil man. No, sir. Yeah, we know. I'm a do evil man. No, sir. Yeah, we know. To a talk big you. Oh, bad. 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 Please, yes, so share, 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 invites. Let them come back and listen to the concluding part of this uh, discussion. And please, uh, if you have anything to comment, you have anything to say, you can equally call in. The telephone number is there on the screen. You can call in to give us your opinion and how you feel about these. You can call in briefly. We'll take your call and uh, express your mind. So please do call in to express how you feel and share this video right now and uh, share and invite others feel raging good evening long time good evening <laughs> you're welcome so just if i let them know that we have uh we are back you know before we were interrupted by the network uh, i was talking about the this uh, Johnny Sidney, who is purportedly re, re, uh, representing the Ogiamie family, or rather the Ogiamie of Utata, and and I told you that when I when you hear me mention Ogiamie, I'm not referring to all the Ogiamie family. With due respect to the Ogiamie family, a lot of them have actually come out to dissociate themselves with what is happening. Uh, in this regard, how they dissociated themselves from Rich Arisco 
and the the, the talk so and uh, but, but the reason I'm actually taking on this topic is because I've seen I told you that a lot that people called me a lot of people from you know, from Ogiami who are actually a supporter of Rich Arisco and what he's doing a lot of people that are supporting him they all, they called me to tell me the history of Benin I'm giving is wrong and they are trying to tell me what is correct what is the correct history and I asked them to send me the materials they sent me some materials and somebody actually um, a pastor actually a pastor in Italy uh, one pastor Amasio actually draw me my attention to these teachings by Johnny Sidney on YouTube so I went there and I started watching and I saw a lot of fallacies distortion of history and facts and uh, and discover and I decided I have to address it because when you when the, the, there is this general saying that the only thing necessary for the triumph of evil is when good men do nothing. If nobody counteracts what I mean, their narratives, a lot of people who listen to them, some may be standing on the fence, some may be divided, some may not even know what to do until there's a counter uh, narrative that is why i decided to do this so um uh, although they, some of them told me that i should let it go it's none of my business uh, whatever happens between the palace and the ogiamie is their is their matter it's not, not my business but i've told you before that it is my business what affects the kingdom affects me what affects my king affects me so that that makes it my business so if if one formally is claiming to be the owner of the whole land, and uh, where does that put the rest of us? So even the 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 Obanya tour, that we 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 talk about today, does not put the ownership of the land on the family of the Oba. It puts the ownership of the land on whoever is sitting on the throne. The the power and the ownership of their land is affiliated to the throne, not to the people or the family. Okay, because family uh, uh, rulership can shift, just like it shifted from from the uh, Oba Oba to the Oba Ohuede, who are from two different lineage of the same Ogiso Oriagba, but they are from two the, uh, different lineage. So it could shift, but the power is vested on the throne, is vested on the crown, not on the family. So for one family to claim they are more superior than every other family is wrong. I told you myself, I'm from Ogiefa family. I cannot claim to be more superior to even the smallest family in Benin Kingdom. Because we are all equal under the law. We are all equal under the king. All right. If 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 if, the, if there is a, is an issue between one family and the other, and you bring it to the palace, the Oba is not going to favor you because you are from a prominent family. No, the Oba will not look at the facts of the matter. So, which means all families are equal before the crown. So there is no one family that is greater than the other family. But we are all equal, and we are all equally great. It is the conglomeration of all these different families that makes the kingdom. The kingdom is because of the people. It is the people that empower the king. It is the kingdom that makes the king a, 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 that, that makes a kingdom. It is the people that the king rule. Without the people, the king cannot rule in the absence of the people. So it is the people that, that empowers the king, and it is we that empower our king. And when they, when they are insulting our king, they are insulting us. They are insulting us. That is why we are speaking up. That's why we are speaking up. So now, before we were interrupted by the network, I told you that he said that historically that Ogiamie are descendants of the Ogiso Avian, who was the younger brother of Ogiso Owodo, and I told you that is ab absolutely incorrect. Avian was never an Ogiso, and Avian was never a brother to Ogiso Owodo. All right, he was never 
a brother to Ogiso Owodo. That is not a fact of history. Ogiso Arigo, according to history, had only Ogiso Owodo. So when Ogiso Arigo, uh, Owodo uh, um, existed and when he contravened the laws of the land by killing that pregnant woman, the, 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 there was an uprising and he was banished. And when he was banished, he went to Emi, where his father, oh, where they hailed from. He went to Emi, where his father, Ogiso, oh, where they hailed from. And I told you that Ogiso, oh, where they gave birth to Ogiso Odua, and Ogiso Odua gave birth to Ogiso Obioye, and Ogiso Obioye gave birth to Ogiso Arigo, and Ogiso Arigo gave birth to Ogiso Owodo, and when Owodo gave birth to Ikaladeiran, Ikaladeiran had issue with Esaru, and he was to be executed, but he was pardoned by the executioner, and he he was ostracized, or rather he banished himself. He went on self exile because of the mercy shown him. He cannot remain in the, in the kingdom. He went to in uh, Uroto. At Uroto, when he was discovered again, he fled to a place called Uhe at that time. And Uhe was the name that he, it was Ikaladera that called the place Ilefe and it became Ileife. All right? So that is the truth of the matter. For somebody to come and tell you that Avian was an Ogiso is a lie. For somebody to come and tell you that Avian was a, a brother to Ogiso Owodo is a lie too. Because if Avian was Ogiso Owo, uh, a brother to Ogiso Owodo, a Dionysian will not have problem with him. A Dionysian will not have problem with him being a king. They would have installed him a king. Why would, why would history now... Why would history... Now, uh, 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 side with every other Ogiso from Ogiso of Bagodo, which is the very first Ogiso to the 31st Ogiso, which is Ogiso Owodo. Why will history be coherent with them and now disagree with the younger brother of Ogiso Owodo if it was actually the younger brother? Why did they even go to the offspring of the younger brother of Ogiso Odolige? They went to the younger brother of Ogiso of Doligi, not even the direct, the, the grandson of Ogi, uh, of the uh, the grandson of the younger brother of Ogiso of Doligi is actually Ohuede. He became Ogiso. So if the Edionisen can go that far and still accept Ohuede as Ogiso, why would they not accept a younger brother of Ogiso Owodo as king? The fact that they didn't accept him, it means he was from a completely and totally different family. He was from a completely and totally different family. But Avian was a great Edo man. He was a great Edo son. He was a great man because of his feet. Osogan was becoming a menace to the kingdom by killing people. And eating them. So, a, a, being a blacksmith, he worked with iron. He was able to put a hot iron and throw it into the mouth of the Osoga. And the Osoga died. That was why, when there was a vacuum, a leadership vacuum in the kingdom, that was why, uh, when the when uh, uh, Ikaladera was banished and he went to Ife, and, uh, and uh, Odudu... Um, Ogiso Owodo was now banished to Imi, there was a leadership vacuum. So being the most popular person in the kingdom at that time, they now called him to come and lead the people. He was never crowned an Ogiso. I'm talking, Avian was never crowned an Ogiso. But when Avian became old, he started grooming his son, Erebo, to take over from him. And it, um, in an attempt to take over from him, the Dionysian were not happy. So the Dionysian now had to go to Uhe. Uhe was then the name of Ile Ife. So they, when they get to Uhe to meet Ikaladera, they discover that Ikaladera has already been made a king among the Uhe people. So he was a king among the Uhe people. Now they now asked him to come and rule. He refused to come. He said, number one, he's too old for the journey. 
He was very old for the journey, and moreover, he, he, he now said he now sent his son Oromia to come and rule the kingdom, to come and rule. Be when because uh, Erebo felt that the coming of Oromia will now truncate his own leadership position, he organized a rebellion and a resistance. He now resisted the coming of Oromia. He now led a troop of warriors to go to uh, Oviar, and you know, then there was this Ovia River separates the other parts of the kingdom, the Udo part. Remember, Udo is also part of the kingdom, but there is a river between the Edo and Udo. And, and after Udo, before you get to the, to the Uhe side, so the, the, he now stood by the river, and that was where the problem started from. There was a lot of battle by the Ovia River. Then some of the people coming with Oromiyon, like the Elaure, settled at Usen. Elaure settled at Usen. And to today, Elaure of Usen is the head, is the, is the, is the ruler of the, of the Usen people till tomorrow. So that was how the problem started between Erebo and Oromiyon. So there was a lot of uh, intricacy, but the the uh, the Aegeans and that is the Zama, the kingmakers, they were on the side of Oromia because they already gave uh, Ikalaadera, which is now Oduduwa. Uh, they, they now gave they gave Ikalaadera or Oduduwa their words that nothing will happen to the son. They gave him their word, nothing will ever happen to your son. So they protected Oromia. They organized the the, 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 the the royal warriors to fight against their own brother, who was actually uh, uh, Avian. I mean, I mean, Erebo, the son of Avian. And as at this time, the, 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 the remember that the, the the nobles, the rich people, they were also uh, uh, they were rallying around Erebo at this time. So there was, the kingdom was kind of divided. It was just one kingdom, but divided. It was not divided along loyalty lines, not along the land line. The division of Bene Kingdom was not along the land line. It was along uh, loyalty. Is that this one, this group of people were loyal to uh, uh, Erebo, and the, the chiefs and the, and the chiefs were, were on the side of Oromium. So the battle was fierce that Oromio could not come into the kingdom, into the, the center of the city. So they, they, but they keep on pushing them back uh, forward. Uh, Ogiamir to keep on retreating, and they will keep on moving until they got to Ego. All right, until 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 they got to Ego, where he 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 met Eimide, the daughter of Ogiego, who became his wife, and gave birth to Eweka the first. So this is the story. But for somebody to come and change history, it, it, it's appalling. It's unacceptable. We cannot accept that. We cannot accept that. All right? Now, as we were saying before the, 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 before the connection went out, or before the transmission was transmitted by the transmission, I mean, uh, sorry, sir, the transmission, all right. Okay. He said that Oromiyon was a grandson of Oduduwa, that Oduduwa was the only son of Akombi. And I told you that is another part of another part of the Yoruba history that you know there are different versions of the Yoruba history and they are trying to to I mean different versions, different depending on who is giving the account. You understand? If the if uh, people are giving their account, they give the accounts that favor them. If the if the Oyo is giving the account, they give the account that favor them. If the Egba people is giving account, they give the one that favors them. Because there is kind of a supremacy talk so. You know, some some people are saying they are laughing, is the head. Some will say it is the uh, Oni of Ife that is the head. Some will tell you they are laughing, is the headed son of Oduduwa, but that uh, Oni of Ife was the youngest son of Oduduwa. That by the time Oni, you know, there are different stories that by the time Oromiyo came from Bini to Ife, that Oduduwa had already died. So, and he has already shared his pos uh, position to every 
of the children and that uh, because he thought that he has gone to Benin to rule, he didn't share any other place for Oromio. So when Oromio came, the only thing that was left in the palace was the staff, the, the staff of office of the father. So he now took the staff. So that was how he became the Oromia, uh, I mean the Oni of uh, Ife. In very, but he's actually the youngest, but he is the one at the seat of power. You see, there are, where, where are the Oyo, the Oyo people tell you that Allah, Fin of Oyo, is the eldest son of Oromia. But this is one, one story. But now there is this another story that is now saying that Akombi is no longer the wife of Oduduwa, but the only son of Oduduwa who gave birth. So there are too many stories. So, but the Edo people, we know our story. Mm -hmm. All right, somebody is, before we call it, let's, mm -hmm. let's listen to what somebody else has to contribute. Hello, good evening. Uh, good evening, Shastri. Good evening, my brother. Uh, I'm enjoying this topic. This is a very great and serious topic. Thank you, my brother. Uh, uh, I watched the documentary, and my contribution is this. I watched the documentary about and this are risk of it. Okay. And all the, the thing I watch about this Arisco of it, all of them is, is just like Arisco did not come for the lineage of Ogiame. Okay. Uh, my, my point is that, because you see when uh, this, uh, our uh, Oba that went to meet the ancestors of our Ere Diawa, yeah. when it was correlated, which is from the documentary from this Arisco, when it was correlated, uh, the Ogiame then was little, let me know, let me say it was very young. It was a young boy, yeah? It was a young boy, and this Arisco was there. And this Arisco, let me say, is older than the, the, the male Ogiame then. Exactly. If, if this Arisco was in the lineage of Ogiame as he claimed then, where was he not the real the male Ogiame that would have do the coronation of uh, Obaere Diawa? Where was he that young boy then? Okay. That is one where question. Was, because it, uh, that, 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 that point there is not clear for me. If he can prove to me that he is the lineage of Ogiame, why was he not why was he not partake on the ritual? Why was he not the male Ogiame then? Why was that was that young that young boy? Because that young boy was very, very new then. Mm -hmm. And he was older. He was older. So, uh, I was I don't I don't know. I don't I don't I don't I Okay, the is not the land, the cinema. Okay, Eh, 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 Yeah, yeah, Arisco was older than uh, Osaobo. Yeah, yeah Osaobo by far. Let me say if he knows that by about 20 to, about 20 to 15 years, he was older. Mm. Why was he not part? Why, why, why did he not partake for the, for, for the rituals? Mm -hmm. So that is my point. In fact, that is what I have to say. Thank Th you very much for this great topic. Thank you. Thank you for, for yeah, joining us. Uh, yeah, thank you very much. Uh, uh, my brother that I just called, he's asking one salient question. He said, when during the coronation of our 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 Oba, the Oba Eredia in nineteen seventy nine, during the 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 mock battle that of uh, this uh, Kyokbaga mock, mock battle, that uh, Arisco was standing in the photo with uh, Osarobo Ogiame Osarobo, and that Arisco is far older than Ogiame Osarobo. How come? How come Arisco now? wants to inherit 
the throne of a younger Ogiamie? That is one question. You see, these people, greed is actually a, 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 a playing out here. In Benin, whether it is property or title, you cannot inherit the property title of anything belonging to an a, a, a younger brother. You even let's assume Arisco and Osabo are actually related. If Arisco is older than Osabo, there is no way you can inherit anything belonging to Osabo because you are older. Even anything pertaining to the burial rites, you don't even participate. That is beneath culture. Oma wovedu, oma no dion e ejeva, e rieva oye, e veti e e rieva e, an e veti gavu kwe. So it is, it is not done. Okay, they said, um, they said that uh, Ogiamie Osabo have no child. Right, this is not the first time in history where it is happening. Okay, like I just told you. Or, uh, or uh, Ogiso and Henende had no child when uh, he died. But they had to go and look for the grandson of the younger brother of Ogiso, uh, uh, the younger brother of Ogiso, Odoligi, who was invariably younger than the, 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 the Ogiso that passed on. So, how, and moreover, as you, and but the funny thing is that they are saying that Osarabo is missing, not dead. How do you now share the property of somebody who is not dead and who is not even buried? You have not even done any of the funeral rites. So after, you do not even share property or anything until the burial of anybody in Bini Kingdom. And you are saying you are a Bini man. If you are a Bini man and you are contravening culture and tradition, then you are not a Bini man. This Arisco is not a Bini man. If he's a Bini man, he should not be contravening, he should not be go doing things that, that, that disgrace the culture. He should not be doing that. Now, how can your, your brother, who is supposed... The funniest thing is that he's not even saying he's a chief. He's saying he's a king of Utantan Kingdom. If he's a king of Utantan Kingdom, because they, they, in their letter, they, they sent me one letter that I should read, and they called uh, uh, Arisco, they called him your imperial majesty. They called him your imperial majesty. You don't even use the word imperial for somebody who is not an emperor. You don't use imperial for somebody who is not an emperor. An emperor is somebody who rules over multinational, multiple nations. It's an emperor. It's somebody who rules over multiple nations. Any king that rules his, uh, his kingdom extends beyond one. In conglomerate other nations is an emperor. So how do you, how does how does he become a, an imperial majesty? Now Osaobo is missing a whole king, according to uh, Arisco and Sydney. A, a whole king is missing for not one year, not two years, not three years, not four years, not five years, not six years, not ten, not fifteen. Almost about 20 years, according to the narratives. How, how you are not ashamed to mention it that your the person who you are saying is a king of Utantan Kingdom disappear. None, none of your chiefs, your whatever, did nothing to find him. Our Oba, wherever he goes, we know. Our Oba cannot even be disappear for one hour. The whole kingdom will shake now. The whole kingdom will shake. That is how you know a king. Who is submitting to this man? Whose kingdom submitted to you? You say Eokorion, which I asked before, which any of the Eokorion people kill elephants and bring the talks to Giamie Palace? That is how to know uh, loyalty. That is how to know who's your subject. My own uncle was an elephant hunter. 
my own uncle, the younger brother of my mother, is the son of a dog by he kills elephants, and all his talks goes to the other palace. He, he, all his the elephant talks goes to the other palace. None of them was ever taken to uh, to to uh, that where is his palace located? The, that, I mean, if they you say if the palace of Ogiamie is at uh, Sakomba Road. After almost opposite the CMRO, after first, before you get to second by the left, it's there. It's, it's, the palace is there. There, there's, there are a lot of palaces everywhere in Benin. My 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 own grandfather palace is at uh, Forestry there. Ogifa Palace is there. Osunde Palace is at uh, is at uh, Akwakpaba. So there are a lot of palaces in Benin. That is not real. The palace does not make you a king. There are palaces, but there is a palace. You know, there are palaces, but there is a palace. When you reach the upper palace, you know, say this one, uh, bim, bim, this is not palace. The rest one, now just, just, mm, now we are chief day, a nogi, any a nogi, wherever a nogi is, is a palace. That is true. So, that, that is, yeah, there's a row palace at Turubi. There are a lot of palaces. Oh, most of all, this is the Enogi area. There, there's one palace at uh, Olobo. There's one at Ob Obazagbon. There, there are not a lot of palaces. So th that is, the existence of a palace is, doesn't mean it's... Um, uh, it, it is, even the chiefs were all given... I mean, the Enogi were all installed by the Oba because they helped the Oba to rule over his domain. After the Oba, you have the Enogis. After the Enogis, you have the uh, Odion, uh, Odion Were. That, that is, you have some, you have some Ohen, some you have uh, Okaibo. There are different, different uh, positions of leadership in the kingdom. But the paramount ruler is the Oba of Benin. Okay, so for one person to come and twist history and you are using the version of the Yoruba history that many Yorubas are rejecting to authenticate your own claim is appalling, it's shameful. It's shameful. If you can, if you can say that uh, it is difficult for Ikala e e to come from Benin and, 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 and conquer Ife, and which means invariably you are trying to tell me you believe that Oduduwa came all the way from Saudi Arabia. So how come Oduduwa happens to be the first, the only black Saudi Arabia man? And you are, you, people are like to believe this over the fact that Oduduwa comes from Benin Kingdom. You are believe you 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 like to believe that Oduduwa came from Saudi Arabia. He's the only and you say he's a prince in Saudi Arabia. Go and check the history of the of the rulership of Saudi Arabia, and see if you if any black man has ever ruled Saudi Arabia, and if they had a prince that disappeared. So you are saying, how did he bring army from Benin? So how did Oduduwa bring army from all the way from Saudi Arabia? Cross even to come from Saudi Arabia. You have to cross the Mediterranean Sea, either into uh, Israel, march and destroy Israel, and cross through West Bank, and, uh, uh, and, and enter Egypt, march and destroy Egypt. You cross into Sudan, march and destroy Sudan. You march, cross into, uh, into uh, uh, Chad. March and destroys Chad before you come enter the uh, the, the Kane Bonu or the 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 Soko Caliphate. You know, the the you begin. Do you know? So, and the journey is more than four thousand kilometers. You are, it's easier for you to believe that than to believe that a journey of less than three hundred uh, kilometers is more is easier, just because you want to authenticate. A story that does not exist, and even the Yoruba people that you are picking this story from do not even completely agree with the version of the story you are picking. So that is why I said a son who sides with the lies of his father opponent is nothing but a bastard. It's nothing but a bastard if a son will side with what his opponent is of his father saying. It's like a child who stays outside the father's house and. 
and join the, the, the children of the neighbor to put throw stone at his father's roof. That, that is the kind of person uh, the Arisco and his people are. And if they so have so, have, so much money to, to spend on propaganda and litigation, court cases, police, lies, and what, what have you that they are doing, why did not, they not channel the, all those resources to look for Ogiamie Osarobo, wherever that young man is? If they could go ahead and try to claim the throne of Osarobo, they know what happened to Osarobo. They should be questioned. I think that is the area the Edo State Government should look into. They should question them about the whereabouts of Osarobo. They know. If they don't know, they will not be bold enough to go and usurp his, his throne and his title. They know. They should be questioned. They should be questioned. They should be taken to Abuja. Let them go and question them. All right? That is my own thinking. So now, he, he, he now says something that angered me. You know, the, this something that this man angered. He said that angered me. It makes me angry. He, he, when I when I heard him say it, it just make me. It just make me completely angry. I know what vulo meko. He vulo my belly. When he said that, he said, did he vulo my belly? And he said, he said, he collided and never left Bini to conquer Ife. He said, he collided and never left Bini to conquer Ife. He now went to say, he collided and never existed. He said, he collided and never existed. If a person that called himself the son of Bini put it in his mouth that Ikaladera never existed, Oriomba no, Oriomba Okuni him. Now, then he went on to say one thing. He used the word hypothesis. He said, from my very own uh, perspective. And one of my hypotheses. Now, for those of you who don't know the meaning of hypothesis, hypothesis is one of the procedures used in scientific experiments. The first thing any scientist do is to conjure an hypothesis. That hypothesis is is a is he will think this is how this thing will be. He will conjure the hypothesis. And, and to, to prove that hypothesis, you begin to put it in line. You subject it to some, some action that you call scientific method to arrive at the, uh, at, uh, the, the ending of the hypothesis. If his hypothesis is successful, or the, or the, if the experiment is successful, then it becomes a valuable law or scientific proof. So for, it to, for him to say it is an hypothesis, it means he's just in his mind. So everything he has been saying is, is, is an hypothesis in his mind. Now, he said, I, I would liken hypothesis to what we call conspiracy theory. Conspiracy theory is when you conjure up something, say, I think so now, so this thing will be. But you have no proof. So when when we have historical facts, this man is basing his whatever he's saying on a conspiracy theory or hypothesis. That's what he's basing it. So now look at what he said his hypothesis is, or his conspiracy theory is. He said the Ogiso never allowed the Uzama to live with him in the central part of Inwindum. That is the, because the Ogiso never allowed the uh, Uzama to live with him, so they were angry. That was why they were now fighting with him. So because the Uzama were now fighting the Ogiso, I don't know the Ogiso is trying to talk about now. So he just said the Ogisos. So whichever of the Ogiso is saying, is saying probably uh, the, um, I don't know because 
let me see. He said the Uzama team up to fight against the Ogiso. See, because the Ogiso didn't allow them to live in in Uhundun, that is area where the, the center of the city. So they now team up to fight against the Ogiso. And and this is lie. They, there was nothing like that. The Ogiso were very powerful because of the death of Ogiso Owodo. I mean, Duzama. Duzama were very powerful. They came together because of the, uh, uh, the death of uh, uh, when uh, Ogiso Owodo died. And after he was banished to Imi, there was a leadership vacuum. They all came together and they were now finding a solution. It was in the process of looking for a solution that they now asked Avian to lead the people. So that there will not be leadership vacuum. It was still in the absence of looking for a solution that when Avian now bequeathed power to his son, uh, uh, Erebo, that they now said, no, we still have, we still have a, 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 a Ikaladera living. So that is why they went to Ikaladera. If Ogiso, I mean, if uh, Ikaladera was not the son of Ogiso, if Avian was a son of Ogiso Arigo, why would they now go and bring a foreigner from another kingdom to come and rule over them against their own son, who is actually the son of Ogiso? It does not work. It does not work. It, it, it doesn't work. Now, he went over there to say that because of it, the Uzama decided to organize a trick. He said the Uzama organized a trick that they sent somebody to Ife. But this was not the truth. So, if now you are saying the Uzama were fighting against the Ogiso, the same Uzama that was fighting against the Ogiso now went to Ife to go and bring somebody. My people, there, there is a lot of distortion, concussion of history, and I don't want you to, to, to... There are so many things that he said, that this young man said, but because time is gone, I don't want to waste much of your time. We are going to continue this topic, because there are so many things he said that, that, that I need to, to bring out to, to, to disprove him. So, uh, on, on Thursday which is next tomorrow, we are going to continue this topic so that because the time is far spent, some of you are going to go to work tomorrow. So I want us to to take, to take a break here. We'll continue this topic on, on Thursday. Then from, later on, after this, we've exhausted this, we'll, we'll now begin our history. We'll now go and talk about Uwaifiokun and uh, Oba Elwari the first, then which inside we have the story of a motan and all that they will proceed to idian yesige and all that all right so the so yeah linda try and watch those stories that you you if you go to to youtube if you want it i can send you there are so much lies it, it makes you angry very enunciating so thank you very much my people Thank you for listening. Thank you for tuning in. Oba talk be he said, "Why are you going about? I go about. I go about like me because when I do where I go about if we there, what? Oh no, only if we there where I go. Eh, you go about. I go. I go. I go. So I bet too. So Arisco and." His brother Johnny Sidney, they they should come to the palace in shame and kneel before the Oba and let the Oba pray for them, otherwise they are carrying a lot of curses. They are carrying a lot of curses. So my people, good evening. Thank you for joining us, for, for tuning in. Those of you that came back after the 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 transmission was terminated through the network transmission. Sorry, the <laughs> I mean uh, the transmission. Thank you for coming back. God bless you. Oba talk day. He said, "Love you, my people. One love. Good night and bye bye." Okay.
Good night, good night, Trinity. Thank you, good night, Debbie Kings. Thank you, and good night. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Who else is wishing me good night? Who else is there? ABS, Lucy, Abba, Sohan. Thank you, and good night. Who else is there? Linda Cassidy. Thank you, and good night. Multicross, my son. Good night, Doris Samonoya. Thank you, and good night. Good night to you, Linda. Thank you very much. Marvin Smith, good night and goodbye. Thank you very, very much. Corey Dwight, thank you. And thank you, Frida Obama. Good night to you, my sister. Bam Nambas Meze, thank you. Martin Sigbinovia, thank you. Phil Awehoi Ogbe, good night. Love it, Okundaye, thank you and good night. Good night to you, everybody. Debbie Gross, so you were there, long time. Good night. Asibo Anna, thank you, thank you, and good night. Marvin, good night to you. Patrick Abel Sunday, good night, my brother. So you've been around. Hey, Shiara, my daughter. Thank you, Sierra, please. Thank you, thank you, Prince Erosa, thank you. And uh, Prince Erosa, okay. -ish. Good night. Rachel and yes, thank you and good night, Rachel. God bless you. One love, everybody. Edwin, a human tear, a moral giver. Friday or day day, thank you and good night. Good night to you all. One love. Bye.